Create videos like a pro using the screen recording and video editing application Camtasia Studio. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how Camtasia Studio 8 works so that you can begin recording, editing, and producing your very own videos in no time. When you open Camtasia, a welcome window appears from where you can directly begin to record, import media, open a recent project, and even access Camtasia's video and written tutorials. If you prefer that this dialog box does not start automatically every time you open Camtasia, remove the check mark from the Show this dialog box at startup checkbox. This is the editor. It is made up of the clip bin, timeline, and canvas. I will tell you more about this in a moment. The record the screen button will minimize the editor to the taskbar and launch the recorder. With the recorder, you can select to record exactly what you want, the entire screen or specific dimensions with or without camera, video, or microphone audio. To start recording, click the Rec button or press the F9 key. To stop recording, press F10. The 3, 2, 1 countdown tells you to be ready. A preview of your capture can be played for review. If you're satisfied with your recording, click the Save and Edit button. I highly recommend that you create a new folder for each of your projects. This way, all of the media used in the project remains in one place. This is important not only to stay organized, but also to maintain a functional project for future use, since moving or deleting any of its media will corrupt the project. The editor will open with a recording file added to the timeline and the clip in. Go to File, click Save Project As, the Save As dialog box appears. Enter the project name and click Save. Notice that the project is saved as a CamProj file. A CamProj is the file containing the editing completed on the timeline. It is what you'll open when you'll want to continue working on your video. Whereas the recording file is saved as a T-Rec file, known as a CamRec in earlier versions of Camtasia. It is the raw screen recording. You can think of it as media. After the project has been saved, a Camtasia Studio dialog box will appear, reminding you that in order to share your project, you will need to produce it into a shareable format. Click OK. The clip bin is composed of a set of tabs, with the clip bin tab being the home tab. The clip bin holds and automatically organizes by category all of the media being used in the current project. To bring additional media into Camtasia, click the Import Media button, found on the top of the clip bin. The tab that follows is the Library tab. Here you will find background music, motion backgrounds, and callouts that are available for use in every project. Further to the right is the Callouts tab. You can use Callouts to draw attention to a particular item on the video. The rest of the tabs contain features that allow you to add and edit special effects to your video. The timeline is where you assemble and edit your video. It is on the tracks where you add the media and effects from the clip-in tabs that will make up your video. You can use unlimited tracks and there are no media-specific tracks. This means that you can put your video, audio, and images on any track you want. To the left of the track is a lock icon. You can only make edits when the lock icon is unlocked. This is the playhead. It shows the exact timing and displays the picture on the canvas. If your clip has both video and audio combined as one, right-click on the clip. From the menu, select Separate Video and Audio. These can be edited individually. Make a trim to shorten a clip. Simply hover over the edge of the clip until the cursor turns into a double arrow and then drag it in. If you have to undo the trim, just hover over the edge of the clip and drag it back out. Also, on the top left side of the timeline is a menu that contains editing buttons. This is the zoom slider. It is used to magnify the view of the clips on the timeline so that you can make exact selections and cuts. If you make a mistake, it can be undone with the undo and redo buttons. Further, you can remove a section of a clip using the cut button. Start by positioning the playhead, then drag the green and red handles to adjust your selection. Before you click the cut button, ensure that all the other tracks with clips you want to remain intact are locked. Once you click the cut button, the selection will be removed and the remaining parts will be stitched together. In addition, the section removed can be pasted anywhere on the timeline. 
You can cut a clip into sections with a split button. It allows you to add a transition, an image, a clip, or other media between the two sections to copy an entire clip or just a section of a clip. Click on the clip or make a selection by positioning the playhead and dragging the green and red handles. Click the copy button. Reposition the playhead where you would like the content to be pasted. Last, click the paste button. The canvas is where the video plays. Use the playback controls to move throughout the video. You can use the cursor to make changes to the media, such as moving, rotating, and even resizing. Change the dimensions and or background color of your video with the Editing Dimensions button. If you are not sure where or how your video will be viewed, select 720p. This size is viewable on large monitors, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones. To change the video's background color, click the paint bucket icon, and from the palette, pick a color. To apply the changes, click OK. It is strongly recommended to save your work frequently. To save your progress, go to File and select Save Project. When your video is complete, click the Produce and Share button. From the drop-down menu on the Production Wizard, select How to Share Your Video. Click Next until you arrive to Video Options. Entering information about your project in the Options button is optional, but do click the HTML Options button. Enter the title of your video and click OK. Click Next. Choose where to save your video by clicking on the folder icon. Last, click Finish. If you have any questions about how Camtasia Studio 8 works, contact the Office of Instructional Technology at 702-992-2400. Choose Menu Option 2 or send us an email to nsc.intech at nsc.edu. Don't miss Intech's latest updates and video tutorials. Follow us on Twitter at NSC underscore Intech and subscribe to our YouTube channel, NSC Intech. Please give us a like.